This is a question I often ask my students, is I give them this diagram or this shape and I ask them how many triangles are in this shape. We can decompose this into a lot of different ways. So here we can see a large triangle and here we can see smaller triangles. So shapes actually are easy for us to recognize multiple subshapes within them. Here's another example where we've drawn two large rectangles that overlap one another and you might be able to see that, that it could have been made with five uh, squares, but we could also make it with four squares where the fifth center one is implicitly understood. We could also again create it with just lines or line segments that join each of these. This shape can be created and recognized as multiple different subshapes in multiple ways. Here's another example of a shape grammar a rule where we take a a base triangle and we say if we see this triangle we can rotate it 180 degrees. So if we take this TP-like shape here we can recognize a triangle in the center and we can then rotate it 180 degrees which leaves us with some of these arrowhead endpoints. This is an example of a, a basic shape grammar where we recognize the shape and then we operate on that shape. Another example here is a way that we can do subdivision. So we take this, uh, if we see a, a triangle, we can then make a smaller triangle where the endpoints are at the midpoint of the larger triangle. So if we start off with a base triangle here, we can then make a smaller triangle inside that, which then creates three new triangles. We can take, say, this bottom right triangle and add a new triangle in that. We can take this bottom left triangle and add another one in there, and the top one as well, and we can keep on going and going until you keep subdividing more and more. So we take several rules that seem very simple, combine them with an initial shape, and it produces patterns that are emergent that we would not have figured out just by ourselves. So this allows us to create two-dimensional patterns or on a facade, or it allows us to subdivide a facade into multiple pieces where then we can place different materials on them for visualization. And it also allows us to combine three-dimensional shapes with weights and colors and all kinds of complex things to create very complex structures from very simple rules. And that's the basic of, of shape grammars.